For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, consider a 4-bit digital word D, B3, B2, B1, B0, used to represent an analog signal VA that varies from 0 to 15 volts. Give D for the correspondent uh, voltage values. So this is part A. Basically, they're telling you that the word V that goes from D goes from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1 is in binary. And from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, you got 16 values, including 0, 0, 0, 0. So these 16 values are the same 16 values that you get from 0 to 15. There's 16 values because you got to include the 0. And you just got to convert it to binary. So you get the voltage on one side and the word on the other. So 0 is simply 0 in binary. And 0 in binary is 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 is 1 in binary, which remains the same. Now 2 is 2 in binary. Now, to convert to binary, this is a quick method. When you have a short word, short word, to convert to binary, this is what you can do. You start at the 1, so you write 1, 2, 4, 8. And let's say you wanted to build the number 15, because you have to be 15 eventually. So. 15 is 8, yes, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So that would be 15. Now I know they're not really asking you for these values, but just to just to uh, clarify this point I'm trying to make, just a little quick technique I'm trying to teach you, let's do 11. So if you want to build 11, 8, 4, no, 4, 4 will make it 12, so 4 is 0, sorry, 8, yes, but if you put 4, we'll make it 12, so you go over, so it's 0, 2 will make it 10, so yes, and 1 will make it 11, so 11 will be 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is just a quick way that you have, let, let me do one more number, just to reinforce this idea, 8, no, you go over, so it's 0, 4, Yes, plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 0, 1, 1, 1 is 7. So this is a quick way of making this work. So if you wanted to make 2, 8 is over, 4 is over, 2 is right on the money, and you already got 2. So it's 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the value for 0 volts, for 1 volt, for 2 volts, and for 15 volts. And these are for 11 and 7 just so you understand this idea. But this only works when you have a short word. So let me teach you a quick way of doing a long word where you be given <clears throat> a long word to convert to binary. So let's say we're given the number 156 in decimal. This is in decimal. And I tell you to convert to binary and if you're an engineer you're going to be doing this a lot so all you got to do is just keep dividing 156 and you make a little line like this so if you divide it by 2 you get 78 and you get a remainder of 0 now if you divide this by 2 you get 39 and you get a remainder of 0 if you divide this by 2, you get 19, and you get a remainder of 1. If you divide this by 2, you get 9, and you get a remainder of 1. If you divide this by 2, you get 4, and you get a remainder of 1 again. If you divide it by 2, you get 2, and a remainder of 0. And last, if you divide this by 2, you get one and you get a remainder of zero and you gotta do one two so you divide it by two you get one I'm, I'm sorry you get zero and you get a remainder of one and then when you want to convert it to binary you just put this convenient arrow right here and you know that 
this is the first number, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth. So the binary representation of 156 will be 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, which is 0 and 0. So this is 156 in binary. This is just a technique if they give you a much longer word because as an engineer you're going to be working with binary numbers that are more than four digits. So it's a good word to learn. So let's move on to part B where they tell you they tell you what change in VA causes a change from 0 to 1 in V0, V1, V2 and V3. So basically what they're asking you is that the same but backwards if it's 0, 0, 0, 0, what will cause a change from 0 to 1 in B0? So 1, 0, 0, 0, from 0 to 1 in B1, in B2, and in B3. So they're asking you something like this. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Where are the voltages on this side? Now, converting from, from um, binary to decimal, it's pretty easy. This would be the voltage. This would be the word. So basically, you do the same thing. You write something like this. You write something like 1, 2, 4, 8. This is for short. It works. 1, 2, 4, 8. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. What you do is you just add them. 8 times 0 is 0. 4 times 0. This is times, 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 times. 4 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, so this is 1 volt. This is 1 in uh, decimal, so that will be 1. So 8, 4, 2, 1, we got 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, so times, 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 8 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, so this is 2. You got to add these together. 2 volts and you can continue doing the same and you're gonna see that this is 4 volts and this last one is 8 volts if you were given like a much longer word <coughs> to convert from binary to decimal alright guys so let's say that we're given the number a much longer word let's say we're given the let's say we're giving the binary number once one one zero zero one zero in binary and I tell you to convert it to decimal so basically what you do is you count the number of digits you have one two three four five six digits if you have uh, six digits then this is what you do you do two to the zero two to the one two to the two two to the three 2 to the 4 and you stop at 2 to the 5 because that is 6 digits remember we start at 0 so that's 6 digits and you gotta write this number below this but you gotta write it backwards so this 1 1 0 0 will be here 1 1 0 0 1 0 then you multiply them so this is 0 2 to the 1 times 1 is 2 0 0 2 to the 4 times 1 is 16 and 2 to the 5 times 1 is 32 and then you got to just add this together 2 plus 16 plus 32 gives you a total of 50 so this is equal to 50 in decimal that's just a quick way of converting from binary to decimal keep in mind for when you have longer words And let's move to the last part, part C. So if VA is 5.2, what do you expect D to be? What is the resultant error in representation? Well, if it was 5.2, I would expect it to be closer to 5 because it's approximately 5 volts. 5 volts, uh, you convert it to binary. 
you already did it a um, bunch of times so I already know that 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1 you can convert it to binary with the techniques I just showed you so that was D would be however there is 0.2 volts of error to calculate the error just do 0.2 divided by the total which is 5 which is equal to 0 0.04 or 4 percent of error so final answer for the last part as you can see we get 0, 0.101 0, 1, and 4 percent of error we get for B 1, 2, 4 and 8 volts and we get 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1, 1 and they are concurrent with the answers I gave you so final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you